What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review video. Now, the last video was our first video of the series, and we talked about everything that's up to this point. It was an extremely stupidly long episode, but we talked about everything. We talked about all the characters, and then we talked about um, the different episodes. Not all of them, but just kind of skimming through it. If you want to check that out, make sure you head to the top right of the screen where you can click the I card to go to that. Now in today's video, this is going to be our first anime review video and we're going over episode number 42, which was titled um, Alola and Kanto. Wait, I don't think we have a son. I don't think we have an English episode or an English title name, but it was it's I think it's Alola and Kanto uh, Misty and Brock. Um, so that would uh, that, that's what we're gonna be going over today. Um, now. The way that this is going to work is um, this video is obviously going up on Friday morning, which is kind of weird. These videos will be going up hopefully Sunday night after the after the new episode comes out, after I've had a chance to watch it and obviously record. Um, and then, or if that doesn't work out, it'll come out on Monday morning. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but as we go through this, I want you to let me know in the comments below what your favorite part from this episode is if you're watching. Um, let me know what your favorite part is now this episode starts off um, where the whole gang is in the Pokemon school and uh, Professor Kukui lets them know that they're traveling to Kanto and everyone seems really excited because they've heard all this stuff from Ash Except Ash is not very excited. Ash is like, oh, we're going back to Kanto um, But Kukui tells them that he has special guests planned for them. So that obviously excites Ash now they take a plane uh, as they're going, and we see uh, Kukui, or not Kukui, we see um, Kiawe freaking out about um, an airplane. And um, Sophocles says, well, you would think that he would be more okay with riding an airplane since he rides on his Charizard all the time. So they land in, um, they land in Kanto, uh, and we see Lily with her Vulpix um, kind of tired and didn't like the travel and all that. Um, but then we see Brock. Brock pops up and says, hey, let me uh, let me check out uh, your Vulpix because he's a breeder, of course. So Brock is back. I am back in the anime. And that was kind of what prompted me to want to do this series in the first place. Uh, but Brock just confirms that it's uh, just exhaustion from the travel. Um, and then Brock turns to see the whole gang uh, where Ash sees Brock. And, and Ash is like, hey, Brock, it's me. And Brock, of course, sees a beautiful woman walking past and runs straight past Ash without acknowledging him and uh, greets the woman as Brock always does. And, per usual, Misty tugs on Brock's ear, pulling him away. So, um, Misty, re Misty and Brock both reunite with Ash. Pikachu jumps off of Ash's shoulders and onto, uh, onto Misty. Now, what's kind of weird about seeing Misty and Brock is that it seems like it's literally their Johto selves. So, you know, we saw Brock again in Hoenn, and I think we saw Brock again also in Sinnoh. Yeah, we definitely did. Uh, and then we saw Misty also in Hoenn, but it doesn't seem like the personalities from there carried over, uh, which is kind of something we're going to talk about through this episode. It seems almost like Alola and, uh, Alola and Kanto are the only two regions that Pokemon is acknowledging through this entire episode. And I'll show you, uh, we'll talk about that as we go. So we see um, we see Kukui, we see Samson Oak, uh, and then we see Samson Oak meet Samuel Oak. And of course they're cousins, so they know each other, uh, but it's cool to kind of see them together. And of course Rotom Dex snaps a picture with them. Um, so the episode is mostly focused around them traveling to um, Samuel Oak's um, research lab where the whole gang wants to see the pokemon that's there and actually you know what i said that and then i see i, I say that uh the the show doesn't want to acknowledge other regions and i see a blossom um so uh <clears throat> the whole episode is about you know ash's pokemon are there ash runs up to his tauros who of course send him flying um and then we see um we see Rotom Dex start taking pictures, and he states that his goal is he wants to get all of the Pokemon in Kanto uh, into his decks and get information on all of them. So I believe he goes on a journey 
to find all of them. We'll talk more about that at the end of the episode. Now, we see Kiawe see a Rapidash, and we know that Kiawe is a, uh, a fire-type trainer, so he calls out his Charizard, and he goes to race Rapidash, and they're kind of going, and Rapidash tells him to ride on him. So Kiawe jumps off Charizard, jumps onto Rapidash, and we see him over-emotional again in this episode as he's riding on that. Then we see Mallow with her Steeny go up to a group of, uh, of Gloom, Vileplume, um, where Vileplume releases poison powder. Brock and Misty standing behind say, hey, that's poison powder. They all run away. And then um, we get to see Sophocles meet up with a Raichu um, who sends a shock and winds up, I guess, knocking himself out. And then my favorite scene of the whole episode happens where... Um, uh, Lily and her Alolan Vulpix see a Kantoian uh, Nine Tails, and Alolan Vulpix walks up to her. I guess Snowflake walks up to uh, Nine Tails, and it's just one of the most beautiful scenes. Uh, it's really cool. That tells me that I think uh, Lily's Vulpix is going to evolve at some point, and that'll be so so cool. Last, the last of these that we see, yeah, the last of these that we see is uh, Lana, 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 meeting um, a dugong, and um, Poplio makes a bubble and throws it down to dugong, and dugong does the seal thing and bounces it off its nose, and it's a cool thing. Now, Rotom Dex going around taking pictures of everything. Oh, I understand. So um, this didn't make sense to me at first, but I just got it. Uh, Rotom is going around Kanto. He's not hanging out with Ash. And through the episode, Ash even goes, where is Rotom? Uh, and we see Rotom meeting Squirtle and the Squirtle Squad. So you can see the sunglasses of Ash's Squirtle here. Uh, and then goes around just taking pictures of all types of, Ka of Kanto Pokemon. And then it goes back to the lab where we see... Um, they're showing off differences between the two, uh, the two types of Pokemon. And I guess Brock and Misty were tasked with... Uh, with catching these different Pokemon so they could show them off. You see um, a, Lola, or a regular Executor and a Lolan Executor, and the Kantoian Executor is embarrassed at how, how short he is and tries standing on his tiptoes. And it's a very strange scene, because you can tell demoralized that Executor. Uh, but it was pretty funny. We do see a Lolan Geodude next to a um, regular Geodude. We see a Lolan Muck and Ash's Muck, who... Um, of course, tackles Ash as always. We see um, a Lolan Doug Trio and regular Doug Trio, and then we see Kiawe get emotional again uh, because the hair is gone. So Kiawe pulls out his uh, his wig that he has uh, and places it on uh, regular Doug Trio, and you see the, the Doug Trio is is really confused. Then we talked about this in the last video. We see Brock throw out a Kantoian uh, Marowak. Uh, and then um, Kiawe throws out his Alolan Marowak and they butt heads and they start fighting and the two have to pull them apart. Um, so that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Um, and then Pokemon start getting out of control and Pikachu thunderbolts everyone. And it is a pretty funny little screenshot um, where um, the ground type Marowak is just kind of looking at the whole gang like, what are y'all doing? Because uh, of course he's immune to ground type moves. Uh, so it was a pretty funny little thing. It was a pretty great episode. I super loved this episode. Um, and then throughout, we get to see... This. So continuing from there, we see Misty going through. And this is kind of what I mean by it doesn't seem like Misty matured like she had in Hoenn. Um, Misty sees a Caterpie and runs away. As you remember, Caterpie was... Uh, or, um, Misty's afraid of bug types. Uh, but I kind of thought they had gotten gotten past that. But then we see grass type Pokemon fighting and there's Ash's Bulbasaur to separate them. Bulbasaur is super happy to see Ash, jumps up on his shoulder. What else, what else? Um, Lana is going chasing after a Gyarados. Uh, and of course, Lana strips into her swimsuit and jumps in the pool. Misty was running away from this Gyarados, turns around and says, no, I'm the water Pokemon master. She strips on camera, which is very uh, interesting, uh, but jumps in the pool, and there's a whole bunch of water Pokemon that we get to see there. Um, what else? What else? 
So, okay, so Kiawe meets up with Brock, who Brock throws out his onyx to show, well, Brock throws out an onyx. I don't, oh, no, 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 no. The group comes across an onyx uh, and they, they're like, okay, we gotta be quiet, don't move. Don't don't hit it. Don't don't react to it. It'll be fine. Um, but of course, Alolan Marowak is out, um, and Alolan Marowak throws throws Bone at Onyx, and now Onyx is going crazy. Um, so this Onyx chases after the gang, um, but the gang is actually stopped by Team Rocket, who followed uh, the gang to uh, back to Kanto. And they're in one of their little mechanized Meowths. So it's a nice flashback to um, the Indigo League. Uh, and then we get to see a pretty cool fight. So Ash throws out his Lycanroc. Um, we see Crobat, which I believe is Brock's. Uh, Misty throws out, I believe it's her Star U. The screenshots that I'm looking at don't quite show it. Um, but then we see uh, Team Rocket come out. They throw out... Uh, Jesse throws out Mimikyu, we get to see Bulbasaur, and right as the, uh, right as like Team Rocket starts to lose, Beware comes out of nowhere from another plane, drops down a, and like smashes the rest of, or what's left of the Meowth robot, and like shoots off into nowhere, and then we get to see Jigglypuff, we haven't seen Jigglypuff in so long, and of course, all of the new gang is like, oh my gosh, it's a Jigglypuff. It's our first time seeing it. And the new people, or the old people, the old gang's like, oh no, we know this Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff sings and puts them to sleep. Uh, and of course does her thing where marks up stuff. Now we get to see a little bit of a um, of an Easter egg um, because on Staryu, I guess on Misty Staryu, um, Jigglypuff actually draws a four-star Dragon Ball on it, which is, that's so cool. I think that's, that's hilarious. Um, so the episode wraps up with the gang eating uh, meals cooked by um, Ash's mom's uh, Mr. Mime. And then um, I definitely missed the, one of my favorite parts of this episode, which is why I'm cutting this in. Um, it, it was something super small, but to me, I thought it was super awesome. And I'm sure a lot of people did as well. So after we see dinner being cooked and them all enjoying dinner, uh, Rotom Dex comes back <clears throat> and Ash goes, Rotom, where'd you go? And Rotom says that he went on a journey to get every single Pokemon in the decks. And he said he's only missing one. And then it cuts over to a picture of Mew hanging out and looking at the group. And then Mew flies away. So that's awesome on a whole lot of levels. First off, Dex went around the entire region and supposedly saw 150 Pokemon. Which means he saw Mew or Mewtwo. That means he saw Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres. Like, all of these other things that he managed to find. How did that happen? I don't know. I would really love if they kind of explained more about that and maybe showed how he found that stuff and whatever it might be. But um, Mew being my favorite Pokemon was super cool to see. So let's go ahead and cut back to the end of the video. Kia or Kiawe, uh, Kukui lets them know that the next episode is going to be, their, their next task is they're going to have a gym battle against Misty and Brock. And that's where the episode comes to an end. Now, talking about the next episode, I can go back, I can go here and check out the next episode. The next episode is called Gym Battle, Z-Move versus Mega Evolution. Um, so in this episode, we know that we're going to see, um, well, Misty's gonna have a little scene with her Psyduck, but Misty has a Gyarados and Brock has a Steelix, both of whom Mega Evolve which is going to be so cool to see. But I think that's all that we know. Uh, we really don't know, um, we really don't know what else is gonna happen from there. I'm very excited for this episode. So again, that's gonna wrap it up. That's about 13 minutes, a little longer than I wanted. We're gonna try and cut this down as it goes. Again, bear with me as we go through these first few review episodes as I figure out what, what I'm doing and how I wanna pace this. Uh, but again, let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of the episode was. And this will air on the 23rd. Yep, so that's uh, that actually will air tomorrow. So as soon as the sub comes out, I'm going to check that out, have a video, and hopefully it will go up Sunday or Saturday night. If not, it will go up on Monday morning. We'll see you for that episode. Until then, have a blessed day.